Hello, my name is Paul, and this is a complete tutorial for SwiftUI designed to take you through many of its fundamental techniques in one project. Now, this is aimed specifically at people who have existing coding knowledge with UIKit, but most things are explained along the way, and so newcomers ought to be able to follow along more or less. Importantly, this is written for iOS 16.1, so you need at least Xcode 14.1 in order to follow along. This is available for the Mac App Store as a free download if you don't already have it. Now the project we're gonna make is called iDyne and it'll look like this. It's a menu app with lots of things to choose from. The user can go ahead and say, oh, I'd like some uh, Power Muesli and press order this. Then say they want to have some French toast perhaps and order that too. And then scroll down through mains and desserts and drinks to get some orange juice for example, like this. When they're ready, they can go to the order tab to see their full order. They can change their mind if they want to. They could perhaps delete the power muesli and just stick with maple French toast. And then press place order, add a tip, see a total value below, and when they're ready, press confirm order. That's the app we're gonna make, all explained as we go with SwiftUI. If you want to, you can download the completed version of this project from GitHub at github.com slash two straws slash iodine. To get started, Go ahead and make a new Xcode project in Xcode. Then choose the iOS uh, area and choose app from there and press next. You wanna call this thing iDyne. For your organization identifier, enter in your domain name in reverse, com.example or com.yoursite, whatever you want to do. Make sure you choose SwiftUI for your interface, not storyboard, then press next and save it somewhere you want to, like your desktop, for example. Here is our project. Now, I've made some assets for you to help jumpstart the process of making this project here. You gotta copy them all in before you start. You can grab them from a URL that's currently on screen all being well, hackingwithswift.com slash samples slash iodine.zip. Grab that zip file now, unzip it, and add them to your project. I have my assets folder here already. Here they are. What we want to do is drag help.swift into Xcode's project navigator. That's this thing over here. This contains a simple helper extension designed to load JSON from the app bundle so we can work with it more easily. Second, we have this order.swift file. This describes what an order looks like in our project and also a menu describing the things will load from that JSON file. Grab both of those and drag those into the project. And finally, also drag menu.json, menu.json even, into your project navigator like this. That's the data we plan to load. I also have lots of pictures to load in the images directory. These are handled slightly differently. It put them into this asset thing over here, assets. This is what Xcode calls an asset catalog. That's where you store pictures in Xcode. So I'll go ahead and grab all these pictures and drag them into there so we can load them inside our project. Now, all these things are not Swift UI related. They're classic Swift stuff. That's why I'm not teaching them here. It's things like, you know, what's an order? It's a class with an array, da da da, da. There's nothing special here. This is all old school Swift stuff. I'm not explaining it here. I wanna focus explicitly on What's new in SwiftUI? Okay, that's our project set up. It's time to get coding.